As we know, aerodynamics play a continually growing role in motorsport, and when racing comes down to just seconds, even after hours of racing, every improvement really counts. Major news in this field at Spa is the amazing new design for Audi, who don't cease to come up with innovations in endurance racing. Christopher Rinker, the R18 project leader, tells us more. Can you just explain a little bit about what changes, first of all, you've done? Well, first of all, yes, this year we decided to bring two Le Mans spec cars already for Spa to thoroughly prepare for the race of the year and get the WEC contenders uh, ready for the big race. Uh, if you see, look at the cars, you see quite a lot of dramatic changes. It's quite a different appearance we have there. But in the general, it's always the same goal. When you go for Le Mans, you have to prepare the cars for the long straights. You want to make it through the Porsche corner, so you need the downforce. So what we actually try to achieve, and I think we achieved, um, is that you create in the front as little drag as possible. Try to have a good flow through the car to still have unturbulent air in the rear of the car, which allows you to create downforce without putting the rear wing up. Because that is a cheap solution, putting the rear wing up but that creates drag. And drag kills you the speed on the long straights of Le Mans. And we believe by, you know, a lot of all the details I you know, review positioning uh, of the radiators, see how the airflow goes on that. Uh, less turbulent air in that, have you create smaller radiators, less drag is created. So all these little details, and you see in these, in these very detailed creatures, you know, specific parts on the front, Every detail has been reviewed to achieve exactly that. And we see the continuation along the car, the, the mirrors are now built in. Absolutely, you see that the mirrors would create drag as well, so even those are now integrated to have the continuous airflow over the bodywork of the car. Makes perfect sense really, doesn't it? That? Yeah, you would think so, but why didn't people come up with it earlier? Now we did. And finally at the rear of the car. We have now all this energetic air being here at the rear, allowing us to lower the rear wing, use a very efficient profile and run it on a low angle. Once again, we create low drag, but sufficient downforce.